Guys, I did it. I found the Lego Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts collectible minifigure series. Now, um, I'm so excited about this. So many people have been finding these at uh, local targets, but I actually found these at um, Barnes and Noble. So yeah, I guess take a look at your Barnes and Noble and uh, see if they have them there. Unfortunately, there were only four left, as you can see, so let's just take those out. I, I was able to keep the box. They were the last ones. They didn't have any in the back room or anything, but hey, four is better than none. And uh, I also got the uh, Fantastic Beast Grindelwald escape set from the Crimes of Grindelwald, so that's really cool. Anyway, let's just get into opening these blind bags. So here we are. I have the packaging set out. Let's just take a look. We have some of the figures up on front. Man, when I saw these, I, I, you know, I thought that I would jump for joy at the first time while I was seeing these, but I actually didn't. Anyway, um, uh, it doesn't really open well that way. There are a few figures in the series that do have capes, so I'm going to cut very carefully, just make a little tear, and then just rip the rest of it open. So, yeah, and who did we get? It's Neville. Oh, and the little pot is still in there. So yeah, let's build up Neville. So here is Neville, and here they are, the medium-sized posable legs. And I have always wanted these because I was trying to make a Lego Teen Gohan custom, and I really wanted to make legs which were taller than short legs, but shorter than normal Lego legs. I actually did make a multiple of custom uh, medium legs, but I'm so glad that they're here. And Neville, you actually get them in just a generic black. You do have this, uh, the cauldron piece in kind of a dark orange. I believe that that is new. A new printed piece for the mandrake. I think that that's actually just a new piece entirely. The leaves up here, I don't think are new. He does have the kind of herbology outfit on, and he does have his wand. And every figure where you get a wand, you actually get a duplicate because they do come on little sprues. So that's really nice. And Neville does have an alternate face. And this is kind of when he faints after hearing the Mandrake's uh, scream. And he does have the uh, Lego headphone piece, headphone hair piece, reused to represent his little earmuffs. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool. Just going to set him right there uh, with his wand. Uh, we do have the little checklist thing over there. Let's open up our next pack. So again, making just a small cut as to not cut anything. And oh, wow. Oh, wow. We actually got it. We got, uh, as it bursts everywhere, we got Percival Graves, which is the rarest one. It's crazy how there were four figures left. I'm just going to build him on camera because I'm just talking right now. It's crazy. There were four figures left in the box and this was actually him. That is so cool. So yeah, I didn't really feel like they need to make any cut, but yeah, there's only one of him for every box. There's, you don't get more of him, you don't get less. Let's take a look at him. That is that is so cool. Because now, once they come out on August 1st, I won't have to look for look around for this guy. And also, when I do my review on the Grindelwald's Escape, I'll actually be able to do a comparison. But the printing is really nice. He's got side printing there, back printing. He does have the gray, the grayish looking printing going around his uh, hair. The face is really nice. Again, you get duplicate wand. And he is actually Grindelwald. So there you have Grindelwald with his mustache right there. And that is just really cool. Oh man, that is, that's amazing. <laughs> so that, that's definitely a hit. Um, okay, let's get into opening the next pack straight up. I'm actually going to open this one from the bottom. Just get my scissors right there. So, yeah. Oh, nice. We're getting so many great figures. This is Mad-Eye Moody. So here's Mad-Eye Moody. He's actually my favorite figure of the series when I first saw the pictures of this. And let me say, now that I have him in my hands, it does not disappoint. He's got all really nice details on there. He's got some basic back printing and a new molded hair piece. He's got his little staff right there as well. Dark brown wand. Really like the face print, but as we all know in the Goblet of Fire, Mad-Eye is actually Barty Crouch Jr. 
who has used Polyjuice Potion. So you get an alternate face with Barty Crouch Jr. licking his lips, an alternate hair piece, which honestly I feel like it should have been dark brown as opposed to that just normal brown color, but whatever. And you do get the Maraca piece remolded in gold with brown paint on it to look like a vial of Polyjuice Potion. And that's just awesome in my opinion. And yeah, he definitely does not disappoint. You get a lot of accessories. You get his wand, obviously an extra, extra hair piece, his staff. But anyway, yeah, it's time for the last pack. Now I'm actually going to open this one from the back because I want to save this, just the package of it. Uh, let's see who it is. Who are we going to end with? Oh, and it looks to be Flitwick. And let's hope I didn't cut the uh, little coattail piece. I don't think I did, but let's just get everything out of there. Ugh. There we go, and there is the head. So yeah, let's build Flitwick. So here's Professor Flitwick. I definitely like how he looks. Uh, never been my favorite character. However, as a minifigure, this is probably the best looking Flitwick that is even possible for them to make. I think it looks perfect. We also have a new mold for the megaphone and these new cloth coattails, which are similar to those from the Joker figure from the Batman movie. However, they're not ridiculously long or anything. This torso is definitely reminding me of Alfred, and so are these coattails. Now this looks good. If I ever get a second Flitwick, this is definitely where I'm going to be using these coattails. So this is the checklist that you get with these figures. We have all of the 16 Harry Potter minifigs up here on the front. And then when you turn it to the back, we have all of the Fantastic Beasts figures. So that definitely worked out. And we have some instructions kind of showing uh, how to build the book, how to build the suitcase, uh, where you clip on the flag, kind of how to put the satchel and the dress on Luna, and Harry's Invisibility Cloak and Neville's Mandrake. But... Yeah, that's really, really cool. Overall, though, I think that we did really, really well, considering which figures we got. We got my favorite figure in the series, the rarest figure in the series, and while Neville and Flitwick aren't my favorites or ones that I particularly really wanted either, they were definitely figures that I, like, wanted to, to have in my Hogwarts castle, and all f three of the four of these figures are going straight into this Hogwarts castle just because they would fit perfectly right in. So... Yeah, overall, I, I feel pretty accomplished. Thank you all for watching this video, and this is the LEGO Detective, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!